Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming an emergency video, if you will. I just got some awesome mail, and usually I film on the weekends, but these palettes were too good for me not to sit and film them right now. So I just quickly did my makeup. I'd already taken my makeup off after I got home from work, and I just quickly took it off. And then I quickly put it back on again after I swatched these palettes because I was like, these palettes are too good for me not to film a video and get this up right away. So if you're interested, just keep watching. I'm going to be filming a first impressions video on the Juvia's Place Saharan Palettes 1 and 2. So this is what I got today, guys. I'm so freaking excited. As soon as they announced these, you know I had to mark it in my calendar. I'm a huge Juvia's Place fan. I first heard about this brand when I heard Coffee Break with Danny mention the Nubian palette. I believe, yeah, the Nubian 2 palette in one of our favorites videos. And I was like, I need to get my hands on that. It was sold out at the time. So I bought the first one, which is the green palette. And then I've since collected all of them. I even did get the Saharan palette. This one did come out uh, the beginning of this year. And then they created two blush palettes to go along with it. This is what the Saharan palette looks like if you've never seen it before. I've been meaning to review these palettes on my channel. It's just that I've kind of gotten focused on the newer product launches that I haven't had the time to actually film a review on all of the Juvia's Place eyeshadow palettes I own. I think I'm going to hold off because they are coming out with a new eyeshadow palette called the Magic Palette towards the end of May. Um, so for today, I'm just going to focus on the blush palettes, you guys. Now, I actually just filmed my blush um, collection. Uh, these aren't going to be in it, but Honestly, I kind of picked this one up mostly to use as eyeshadow. Now, I can't find if these are eye safe or not, but honestly, I don't care. I don't have very sensitive eyes, so I'm totally down to put some blush on my eyes. And this palette was actually a surprise for me because I feel like most of these shades will actually work with my skin tone. So really quick, I'm going to go ahead and try to put a look together with you guys. So I'm going to use both these palettes on my eyes, on my face, everything. So I've got a bunch of clean brushes. In the Saharan Blush Volume 2 palette, there's a really beautiful shade called Yara. So I'm just going to take a fluffy Morphe brush, the M441, and use this as a transition shade. Honestly, guys, these are so buttery. I just love their eyeshadows, so I feel like I'm going to love the blush palette too. And I already have foundation and like primer and concealer on. So I'm just going to do a quick eye look and use some of the blushes on my face. Okay, so now I'm going to deepen the crease with the shade Mio, which is like a beautiful burgundy shade. I think these are pretty pigmented. I mean, they're not like... Their eyeshadow was pigmented, but I definitely feel like you can get away with doing a pretty decent eye look with these. I'm also going to throw some of this pink in my crease. It's called Zane. It's like a very, very bright pink shade. So vibrant, you guys. I'm so obsessed with these already. Don't even have to review them, really. And there doesn't seem to be too much fallout. If anything, I'm just being really messy because I'm so excited. Pretty. Okay, and then I think I'm just going to use Zara on my lid. It's like a beautiful glittery shade. I feel like that would be a really pretty um, highlight on dark skin tone and an amazing eyeshadow on my skin tone. Here we go. It's a nice dimethicone feeling eyeshadow formula for me. I love their shimmer shades. They're so pigmented. Indie brands, you guys, have not been letting me down so far. I've been let down by a lot of the mainstream brands, but I'm loving some indie brands recently like Juvia's Place, the um, Color Drain. Did you guys see they're making the Color Drain Queen of Hearts palette permanent? I can't believe that's actually happening because they said so many times 
they're not going to bring that palette back. So anyway, I'm going to go back in with Neo and then I'm going to take a little bit of Abby and I'm going to put this on the outer corner. I'm just blending it a little bit more, going in with some more Abby, really concentrating it. Yeah, and I think I'm just going to leave it like that. I'm not going to do anything too crazy. I just wanted to show you guys how the palette would perform on my eyes. So I'm just going to throw some mascara on and do a little bit on my bottom lash line. And as you can see, there is a little bit of fallout, but I can brush that off. So I will be right back. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys my lower lash line. So I think I'm going to just do a little bit of Toby on the inner corner. And I'm using a Morphe M432 brush. It's a flat shader brush. And I'm just placing this on the lower waterline. Oh, it's such a vibrant, like, orange shade. And then I'm going to throw in some Zane, kind of in the middle here, to blend it. I don't know where I got a cold from, guys. I'm sorry. I'm just so excited about this palette. I had to get on here and show you guys. Okay, and then Neo on the outer edge. So there is my finished look. What do you guys think? I mean, I just threw that together, so I'm, I'm pretty impressed with myself. Now let's play it with some blush. I feel like if your light skin tone, this would make a pretty decent bronzer on you. Um, I'm just going to grab this brush here quick. Uh, this is a Morphe M527. I'm going to try it as a bronzer. I don't think it's going to work on my skin tone. And this has some product on it because I didn't have a clean brush lying around. But actually, you can see that, can't you? I think it looks pretty good. Probably not in the summertime, but I could definitely bronze with that in the winter. So let's use that to bronze up our faces. I'm using the viewfinder as a mirror, which is not a good idea ever, but oh well. We're gonna make do with what we have. Now for blush, shall we try Tau? That looks pretty. It's like this pretty peachy shade. I have a clean blush brush. I'm just going to put that on the apples of my cheeks and then I'm going to go a little extra guys. I wouldn't probably on a normal day put on this much blush, but I want you guys to be able to see the shades. So that's a really pretty like orangey shade. And then on this cheek, I'm going to use the shade B, which is like a pretty mauvey shade. It's like right up my blush alley. So I'm going to start on cheeks and then pull back and these are morphe e4 brushes by the way if you're wondering what type of blush brush i'm using so hopefully you can see that it's like a really nice muted purpley shade so there is the shade b and there is the shade tau and I use Yara as my bronzer on both sides. And then I think these would be beautiful highlighting shades. There's some shimmers in the palette. So I'm going to use Zoba, which is this pinky shade as a highlight. And I'm going to use the Real Techniques brush. And I'm just going to sweep that on the high points of my cheekbones. This is a really pretty color. It's like a silvery gold pink. It's not as peachy as NARS Orgasm, but it's still really golden and gorgeous. I can definitely see it in the viewfinder. Hopefully that's picking up for you guys. I didn't even put a lot on. Let me see if I can get a little extra on here for you guys. Oh my god. That is beautiful. I'm going to throw some on my chin. 
in there. I look wet. <laughs> this is a little intense. And then let's try one from the Volume 1 palette. See if there's any I can use. I could maybe try uh, Lila. It's like a really golden highlight. Uh, I think this would be beautiful for dark skin tones. But, you know, as I get darker in the summer, I can really wear bronzy um, highlighters because it really just works with my skin tone. Gives it a nice sheen. It doesn't, like, stand out on my cheeks too much because I am pretty tan. So that is really beautiful as well. Put some on my nose. This one looks more natural on me because it's more golden. I think... Honestly, like skin tones lighter than me will definitely be able to use this. And then if you're my skin tone or darker, you could still get some really good use out of both of these. So let me just show you again. And two. What do you guys think? Okay, so let's get back into the review. Okay guys, so I am going to go ahead and round up this review or first impressions of the Juvia's Place Saharan Blush Palette Volume 1 and Volume 2. Those names are really hard to say, so bear with me. I'm just going to call them Volume 1 and Volume 2. But anyway, I believe the palette was inspired by this eyeshadow palette, and you can see the packaging is the same. They just did different shades. And I just love the presentation of Juvia's Place palettes. They really stand out in my eyeshadow collection and also now in my blush collection. They're really easy to identify. I like the size. They are really good for travel, very well made. The only thing is they don't come with a mirror, but I'm okay with that because honestly, the cost of these is amazing. Now these each retail for $18, which I think is an amazing deal. And I ordered these on Friday when they like pre-launched and I received them today which is Monday which is pretty spectacular especially when you're a YouTuber. I love getting things as fast as possible because then I can review them. Like I already said I do work during the week so usually I film on the weekends but these palettes were just so exciting to me that I had to you know kind of stop and film for you. Um, so a little bit of background on Juvia's Place. It is a black owned makeup brand. Most of their products are vegan. I did see on the website this is not vegan and it doesn't really say on the website yet if these are vegan. I did try to look on the box and I didn't see it so if anybody knows definitely let us know in the comments down below. These do say they have a 12 month expiration date which again you kind of use your discretion on that if you ask me and these products are made in the People's Republic of China if you care about something like that. I've never personally had a problem with something like that but usually it does mean that the ingredients are not that they're cheap, but they are more affordable ingredients and our go the palettes are more affordable. Like I said, they are $18 a piece. They each come with 27 grams of product. Now, I love that these kind of remind me of the Anastasia highlighter kits. And I believe these are also made in China, if I'm right. Uh, does it say on here? I can't remember, but I'm pretty sure they're made in China. Which again, not a big deal, just wanted to let you guys know. But these two palettes actually have the same amount of product, which I thought is really interesting. But as you can see, the layout is very, very similar on these palettes. They have like six each. This one actually looks very similar to the Volume 2 palette. Not really very similar, but I think I like the idea of something like this because there are two highlighty shades or like more shimmery shades whereas this is like an all highlighter palette and that was 40 was this 45 dollars i think the abh glow kit whereas this is 18 so again very affordable i love juvia's place i can't tell you enough how much i love juvia's place and i will continue to purchase from them I know when they first started there was like this whole drama about like palettes not being delivered and things like that. I've personally never had a problem like that so I you know can't speak for everyone but I'm just sharing with you my experience. Like I said I ordered on Friday and I already got my palettes which is amazing. There's not a lot of brands that will do that to get you such fast shipping so I do really appreciate that. If you couldn't already tell the palettes each contain six shades and they are currently sold out but if you follow Trend Mood she keeps updating when they go back in stock so just pay attention and you will be able to swipe these up. Um, really quick I'm gonna go ahead and swatch these 
palettes for you and then I'm gonna go ahead and end this video so let's go ahead and swatch I actually have swatches on my arm I posted them on my Instagram but I will go ahead and swatch on the front of my hand here for you guys so I'm just gonna do live swatches and here's what they look like on my fingertips and I am pretty tan guys. I don't know if you guys know this, but I'm a, I'm, I'm a Mac NC42 at my lightest and then I get pretty tan. Um, so I'm just giving you a shade reference in case you're not sure whether these palettes are gonna work for you. I think at least one of these will work for any skin tone. So the first shade is the shade Yara, then this beautiful pink shade is like a it reminds me a lot of their eyeshadows, like their shimmery eyeshadows. And this shade is called Sola. This orange shade is called Tau. Again, one of my like favorite things, like orangey. Um, and it's a blush shade, and I did use it actually on this side. And then B, which is the blush I'm wearing on this side. And then Zoba is the highlighter I paired on this side with B. And then the last shade is Lena. So these are gorgeous. Honestly, where can you get product like this for 18 bucks? Honestly, tell me where. Tell me where. Okay, I'm just going to show you again. So this is the volume two. Okay, then we're going to swatch volume one. Aren't these amazing? This is the color I throw in my crease. So, god dang. The shimmers in this palette are insane. Like if you are a person of color, I can just see these working so well on you. And it's so nice to see something on the market that's gonna work for really, really deep skin tones. I was just talking about that with my LC Cosmetics review, which isn't up yet, about how there's really not a lot of options if you're really, really dark as far as skin tones. I'm not really sure who this would work on <laughs> as a blush shade, but anyway. Okay, so I swatched. We have Zara, which is this beautiful gold, which I can see that being a bomb highlight on dark skin tones. Neo, um, Lila, which I used as my highlight on this side. It's a little bit of a lighter bronzy shade. Then we have Zane, and then Toby and Abby. And Abby is what I used in my outer corners to darken up my eyeshadow look. Okay guys, that is it for my review on the Juvia's Place Blush Palettes Volume 1 and Volume 2. These are amazing, they're a new product, so I wanted to get on here and film for you guys. Hopefully this video wasn't too all over the place, but if I missed anything, definitely leave me a question in the comments down below, and I'd be happy to get back to you on anything that I missed out on. If you did find this video useful, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel and give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you don't miss any of my uploads. Thank you so much guys for watching and have a great rest of your day. Bye!